Viewer discretion is advised. I can't see. I, ah. No windscreen. <laughs> Let's talk about beginner bikes. What's the best beginner bike out there? The best beginner bike out there is probably the Ninja 250. Um, it has a huge following, and I myself got my start on a Kawasaki Ninja 250. Um, I had a 99 bright green, loved that bike. When I got it, it wasn't really running so well. Um, <clears throat> needed a set of carbs. And I uh, picked up a car set of carbs on eBay off of like a 2007 since it's virtually the same bike. Popped those on and the bike was flawless. It was an excellent bike for everything. It was lightweight, it was easy to maneuver, the power couldn't get out of hand. I just, I liked everything about that bike. And uh, I really thought I'd keep it for a long time. And uh, I remember my buddy was like halfway into the season said, um, you're going to sell that bike, you're not going to keep it. And I said, uh, I think I am, I love it. And by the end of that first season, I had sold it. And uh, I mean, I did have it for like 11 months, but uh, even still, I did sell it, and I moved up to a 600. But I don't regret having that bike at all. Now, a buddy of mine is looking to buy his first motorcycle, and uh, ordinarily, I would recommend the Ninja 250, you know, a used one. But um, he's a big guy. He's, he's a tall guy, he's about 350, and not super tall, but even still, he's about 350 pounds, 300, 350 pounds. And to put him on a, uh, a Ninja 250 would probably make him look like what my other buddy calls a, uh, a circus bear, a bear at the circus riding a unicycle. So, uh, here's one instance where you know, the Ninja 250 would not be the right choice. So, uh, been looking at bikes, trying to find him something. Uh, he doesn't want to go too big on CC because he's kind of worried about that. He, he looks at a, um, even an 1100cc cruiser. Oh, that's a big, that's a big, uh, too fast bike. And I'm like, okay, it's not really. He doesn't want a sport bike. He wants a, uh, either a sport tourer or a cruiser. So he was looking at, like, Vulcan 500s and stuff like that, which is ridiculous. Um... But, you know, anything to get him on two wheels. So we've been looking at everything. Um, Ninja 500s, Vulcan 500s, uh, 800cc cruisers. I saw a really cool Magna 750, which I never even heard of before. Apparently that's a V4 with a six-speed, uh, kind of like a Viffer cruiser. Very cool. I sent that to him. Uh, I sent him an older Concourse 1000. I think it's called the GTR 1000. I said, this is a good bike for you, too. You should think about getting that. But it didn't ha you know, nothing's happened so far. He's still in the, uh, I don't know, thinking about his stages. I don't know. He's got he's to show he's kind of serious about it. But uh, there's an instance right there where the Ninja 250 might not be the right choice for you. Um, but, you know, you look at some of these other beginner bikes, you know, and they also made me wonder something. I'm looking at a lot of these bikes that people have as, I think I'm the bike on the right lane. A beginner bike. People buy your first car. You think about what your first car was like. Your first car was just something to beat around with. And, uh, you know, you didn't, you knew you weren't going to keep it forever. You know, it was just something to learn with. And I'm seeing a lot of people who are new to motorcycling and they're buying these bikes and they're beautiful. You know, sometimes, often they're buying a brand new entry level bike. And, you know, they get so excited by it, maybe because it's so, you know, it's so nice and, uh, they start doing modifications to them. And I don't mean light modifications like, you know, rim stripes and a tank pad. I'm talking about uh, full exhaust systems, um, neon, under, um, you know, all these, I don't even know. I mean, you're talking about some bigger ticket items that they're putting on these bikes that, you know, that they sometimes have for a couple of months. And after, you know, after a relatively short period of time, they sell them. And so if you have a $4,000 bike, you bought it brand new for four grand, let's say, and you put $1,500 into it in modifications. And when you go to sell it, you have a $3,500 bike, unfortunately. So you're going to take a bath, you're going to take a hit, and uh, people do. That's an Ninja 500. 
you know, that's what people are going through. And, uh, you know, it, it's unfortunate. I mean, if you're going to keep your bike for a long period of time, you know, a couple of years, and you really love it, and, you know, and, and but look, if you do this, if this has happened to you, please don't take offense. I don't mean offense, any offense by it. I'm not trying to pass judgment on you. I'm just giving you my opinion. It's, it sucks when people lose money like that. And it seems to be happening more and more as I see more and more people entering the motorcycling hobby and buying these, you know, really beautiful, brand new entry level motorcycles. And uh, it just sucks. And then the way you do you, you, just, you sell it, you move on to something else. So if you're going to keep your bike for a long time, yeah, do, you know, do whatever you want. But when you're going to put money into your first motorcycle, and I don't mean like mechanical. Even this, even this CBR, I really haven't done too much crazy stuff. Every time I start to think, I was like, ah, you know, I don't know. And I've had this thing a while. I don't know. So that's it. You know, talking about beginner bikes. And uh, what do you think? You know, is the Ninja 250 always the way to go? Should you just leave your first bike relatively alone and save money for the next one? I don't know. You know, hey, as long as you're enjoying it on on, on two wheels, be careful out there because they know see us. Um, and it's 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 scary, but we love it. I don't know what to say. Remember May's Motorcycle Awareness Month. We're about halfway through with May. I hope people are looking for us. And if you're in a cage, look for your brothers and sisters out there. That sounds nice, doesn't it? I'll tell you a nice little PSA. All right, everybody, ride safe. Take care. See ya. <laughs> squid! <clears throat> we got a squid. That's the new, uh, I think that's the new back hair back protector. Good luck.